Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing, well we, my husband and I, are showing you a DIY pantry build. So y'all know for a while, I've been talking about this pantry for like weeks. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk about it. I'm tired of talking about it, so I can only imagine how annoying it is for you. <laughs> um, but I am excited to finally have this project started. It's not done, nowhere near done. I have so much work to do. But for this video, I'm gonna share with you part one, and that is just us putting them up, kind of framing them out, and then part two video will be up next week, and that will show me painting them and making them look nice. Because right now, it's kind of like a little bit of an eyesore, but when they're painted white, I think it'll just kind of blend in with the kitchen. It'll look like it was built in, like it was meant to be. At least that's what I hope for. If not, I really don't care, to be honest. I'm just thankful to have the storage space and have a pantry <laughs> for once. So that will be nice. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss part two if you are new here. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who recommended using these upper cabinets as a pantry and just stacking them on top of each other. That was a genius idea, and I just wanted to thank you guys because sometimes when you're in the moment trying to think of something, you don't think of this kind of stuff. So I appreciate everyone who leaves suggestions. It helps out a ton. Okay, so we have a total of six of these little upper cabinets and the plan is just to stack them on top of each other and make one big tall pantry so my husband and i were just sitting here talking about the pantry and someone just knocked at our door and we don't get visitors often so it kind of like startled us but it was the electrical guy saying that our like meter was off or something he had to adjust it <laughs> scared the crap out of us um well it scared me my husband like opened the door and he's like can I help you? <laughs> I'm good thing he was home because I probably I don't open the door for strangers. Never ever. the way 
Okay, so quick little update on the cabinets. We have to run to Lowe's to get better screws because we're in like a little bit of a unique situation. The wall that we're hanging these cabinets on, like this entire wall right here, um, the same wall we did the barn door on, that whole wall is a concrete wall. So whenever we go to screw in stuff, it doesn't go into like a stud. It goes into the concrete of the house um, because that used to be the exterior wall. And there's like wood, my husband describes it as wood shims. I don't know what that means, but it's not like a typical like interior wall where you would find the studs and then screw in. We could hit, we, there are studs there, but where we're putting the cabinets, we're actually hitting concrete instead. So we need longer screws and the ones we have are just like a half inch too short. So we're gonna go get those um, and then get the trim for around the bottom, get the siding for the cabinets as well. We're gonna do this, um, what do they call that? Is it board and patent? No, that's not right. Beadboard. Beadboard is what it's called, I believe. I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. But it's the same stuff we use on our island. It's like little line, like strips. So we're going to do that around on the outsides just to make it look, you know, all cohesive with the kitchen and look really pretty. I'm excited. It's going to look really good. And then I have a plan for the wall, like right next to the sliding glass door. I'm going to do a like shoe cabinet at the bottom and then with like a little bench and then do like a shiplap wall going all the way up the wall. I think it'll be really nice, possibly with some hooks and like a little shelf because we go outside out back more than anything. And we always have like a wet towel or something um, from the pool. So having those hooks there will be really convenient and functional. And I'm excited about that. That'll be a new project for another day, but today we're just focusing on the cabinets and getting that done. We gotta hustle though, because we don't have much time without the kids and this is not something that we could do with both kids running around. Okay, so after getting back to Lowe's, at this point we were moving pretty quickly. We were just stacking the cabinets, finding the studs, or my husband was going in with a Tapcon, a concrete screw into the wall to make sure that they were really secure. Um, and then we also took our nail gun and nailed together the cabinets, which I'll go ahead and show you guys that right here. Yeah, no, that was horrible. That's unacceptable. Putting all the size doors on it, I'm sorry. So, I just want to take it back. Yeah, it's just going on. So as you can see, we hit a little hiccup once again. I feel like we <laughs> hit so many hiccups with this project. Um, and, you know, you just kind of got to roll with them sometimes. It's not always going to be as planned. I swear, every project we start, we're like, oh, this is going to be so easy. We'll just stack them up, screw them in. It's good. <laughs> and then it turns out to be way harder than we thought, but it's okay. We got it done eventually. Um, but right here, we were at Lowe's to exchange the cabinet. And guess what, y'all? There was one left. 
So it was meant to be after all. <laughs> we exchanged that cabinet, came in and just kind of got busy, got them all up. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on framing out the cabinet with the beadboard and the trim along the bottom. So right here we are just using some liquid nails to attach the beadboard. The cabinets are so thin so you can't really use finishing nails or anything or even the nail gun to place this on the side of the cabinet. So we just glued it on and then we are putting this little wood frame underneath and this is what's going to hold our baseboards along the bottom. Okay y'all. So we have been working on this for quite some time. We have a lot of caulking to do, a lot of trim stuff to do, but we ran out of time. So this is what I'm going to leave you guys with today. I'm so sorry I couldn't give you the finished product, but we have company coming tomorrow and I have to focus on cleaning. So <laughs> um, I think it's going to look really good, especially once we get the handles on, once it's all painted white. And then when I do like a little something on this wall right here, I'm excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching so far, um, but we're about to go pick up the kids and then eat some dinner, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away, this is what we wish